Hey, the fucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. So if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the support. Um, being able to connect with y'all on so many different levels is truly a blessing to me because I feel like we all can learn uh, from each other and, you know, be each other's teacher and students at the same time, which is very such a, a beautiful blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also um, if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction also if you feel like the video is being very informative to you or it gives you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even fellow empath that need um, uh, spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards the life path or soul purpose Please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Oh, and thank you for the support. Excuse me, I'm sitting up here. I've been eating peaches and stuff, y'all. So it's got it's giving me indigestion a little bit. Um, and the music I'm listening to in the background is so beautiful. Um, it's called Relaxing Music for uh, Relaxing Music Morning Vibes. Music have the best day music. 430. Uh, two hertz beautiful morning meditation music and I will post that link in the description box below and my video today is pushing through hard times knowing it's the lessons that will bring uh, blessings and it is true it's just like you know going through our deepest time you know especially when we seek ourselves in solitude that allows you to know yourself on so many different levels a lot of times we're like Oh, I, I feel lonely and you know there's things that are going on and I hate being alone it's just like a lot of times God and universe will allow you to be able to have that solid you know that solitude of time in your life to where you really need to stay focused on what the true meaning of everything that you're going through why did you have to go through it what is the lessons they're trying to teach you in whatever situation you've been placed in you know a lot of times we, we get frustrated and there are sometimes I sit up here and see my situation but it's just like you know um during my times of hard times you know sadness and stuff like that you know there's a lot of things that has happened you know we wish didn't happen or you know it seems hard to be able to comprehend why it had to happen you know um a lot of things that we go through on a chain of events of unfortunate situations um allows us to get that strength allow us to be able to grow mentally emotionally spiritually you know all these different things because we're heading towards the best version of ourselves we're doing light work um all these different things especially as the empath can be truly heavy you know because we feel in we feel everything we see a lot of things that we wish we could unsee so it's just like a lot of things that right like like right now um, like I told y'all in my first video, you know, I woke up with a headache. I still got one right now, but it's just like, it's from that third eye that it's that pressure right between my eyebrows. But I know it's, it's you know, I'm receiving a lot of messages right now because you can tell because my light, <laughs> my light in my, 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 my webcam is, you know, changing colors. You know, my aura tends to change. My energy tends to change. You know, especially when I ask for, you know, that energy to be able to project the messages that they need me to put out throughout the day. You know, so it's just really working on my third eye right now. Um, so it is just like, you know, we go through a lot of different things in our lives that, you know, can be very damaging towards us. A lot of times we we don't see the bigger picture of why things are the way they are. You know, you're, you're heading towards blessings. You might get frustrated on why you haven't received those blessings because you're not ready to receive them yet because there's still lessons that you're needing to know before you get to it. A lot of us, you know, want to work on having another relationship, but they allow you to have to go through a series of healing, you know, because God has something big for you, but you have to be able to go through all these series of events to be able to get towards those blessings, to be able to you know, 
don't appreciate those certain things, you know, because a lot of times you're like getting mad, like why, you know, I did everything you do, you know, you asked me to do, because there's times I even ask myself, I said, look, I'm pushing out positivity, I'm doing things in a selfless way, you know, I'm not doing things to be able to help people to find some, you know, just to be able to get something back, it's just, I love what I do, but I, that's what my purpose is coming in for, you know, when I see that, you know, this is not just trying to help you get towards your blessings, but this is, you know, this is your purpose, this is what I'm calling you to do, you know, you had to go, I had to go through all these series of events so I can be able to make videos, and being able to, uh, vis you know, have those visions to be able to help others along the way that I connect with as long as, you know, I'm seeing mine as well, because a lot of times, us as being empaths, we can tell everybody else the advice they need to take, but we're hard on taking our own advice, so I have to be able to practice what I preach, you know, being open about the things, the series of situations that I've been placed in, to let you know, yes, more things are coming up to the forefront that I'm healing on, so, you know, nobody's perfect, you know, we always go, there's always room for improvement, there's always room for healing, you know, a lot of things we have to go through and dive deep on so many different levels you know a lot of times like I told you these uh these shifts that we're going through you know like the equinox and the retrograde it, you know all these things is allowing things to unfold in front of you about your life that you probably are unaware of things are in the unknown the things that has not uh came to a surface yet because it's like you have to go through all these different segment segments of your life it's just like going through a gauntlet of like a video game you can't be able to receive all the extra prizes until you go through that game you know i feel like it's like super nintendo mario brothers that used to be my favorite game you know i'm not a gamer but i used to love sega i used to love mortal Kombat, the mike tyson boxing you know that sega you know what is it sonic the hedgehog you know pac-man and all that stuff you already know if any kind of games that you used to play as a child you can understand i try to use metaphors for us to be able to break down and understand on why we have to go through a lot of things we go through you know um a lot of times it, it's just like with my situation uh especially when i was going through really dark times like in my relationship god it guided me to you know watch a couple of Medea movies i don't know if a lot of y'all know who tyler perry is you know he he brings out a lot of uh good videos and you know movies and plays and stuff that i've really has really helped me through some trying times um i watched the one for uh why did i get married it, it relates to a lot of things that i went through a lot of things i'm currently going through and it just allowed me you know i've seen that recently and it was like i was supposed to be uh what was it dvr one one of my shows that i wanted to watch and I haven't been able to watch it yet. Uh, but then when I got ready, you know, I put it on record. It was uh, it was something totally different. It was like the ending of uh, Why Did I Get Married? I'm like, what the heck? I download, you know, I DVR something else. And then this got, you know, this got recorded. But, you know, nothing happens by coincidence and happens by accident. It was right at that exact part to where I'm at in my life. You know, being able to see, you know, you you feel like God has abandoned you. You felt like God gave up on you. He's ignoring you. But you had to go through these series of events for you to be more appreciating, you know, to the levels that you had to endure. You know, it can be really hurtful, you know, because I remember certain videos I put out there and I burst it out into tears. It's like God is not hearing me. You know, I'm going through all these painful situations. So like anybody who truly cared about me that could have helped me through these are no longer here. You know, they can be able to project and tell the truth out there of the, you know, the acknowledgement of who my family is and stuff like that are no longer living. But then when I truly see, you know, the aspect of why I had to go through those things, you know, I couldn't have things just up and given to me. You know, um, I had to be able to go through those series of events of being hurt, being able to learn more things about myself as well as my family I was unaware of, you know, which, which, which was painful. Yeah, it was. Um, but being able to see what it has brought out, you know, uh, of me with strength and knowledge and stuff has been really, truly a blessing to me, you know, and I had to be able to look at it in that way. Yeah, I got pissed off. You know, there's times I just wanted, I ain't even gonna lie, I wanted to punch my mom, my mom's ex-husband in the face. Like, dude, why are you lying to me about my life? You sitting right dead and lying to me. And you know when you're an empath, you know when somebody lying to you. You know when somebody trying to feed you BS. But then when I see myself overcome being angry at him, it's more of feeling sorry for you. Like, you really, you know, you really stoop to these kind of type of levels to make somebody happy. When all you have to do is simply love them. 
not you know love doesn't have to be how much you are able to purchase for somebody or trying to make people envy you you know that was all the things that they were invent you know they invented their their lifestyle about people to be envious of them being able to go on extravagant you know journeys in your life just for people to oh look at me this is what I do you know all these different things that happen in their life but now it's just like you know I'm not on that materialistic situation you know it's not about money to me it's just about love it's about family you know something that's totally opposite they think you know they don't really care to listen to it's just all the mighty dollar you know um but going through all those different things has helped me learn you know a lot of things about myself it allowed me to have faith in myself allowed me to be able to see how strong i am to be able to endure something like that you know being able to open my life up and tell somebody yeah this is what i did you know i went through and you know these are the things that i that has happened to me but i'm still living you know i'm still growing i'm still healing you know, and those are the blessings that I can, you know, being able to be appreciating about it does, it has to be something that, you know, you can't put a price on being able to do these things that you can't buy. You know, those are the things that I had to go through, to be able to learn all the lessons that the universe has been teaching me, being able to forgive people that has, you know, really damaged you in the worst kind of way, you know, because it's like the situation of, you know, going through these really had me look at you know family different you know it was sad because I didn't know you know who knew about my situation who didn't so it came to that point where even where I was on my mom's my, mom, my adopted mom's side I cut family off my uh, mom's ex-husband family I definitely cut them off I didn't don't know who knew about my situation but just for the fact is that he did this uh, you family towards him so I don't want none of y'all in my life you know I had to go through this a lot by myself physically by myself you know so which that you know at times it becomes really hard you know because I can't call my mom and tell her the things that was going on you know and it's scary how before my mom died she told me I was gonna go through a series of stuff like this you know, where she was telling me, there are going to be people that are going to believe you. There ain't going to be people that is going to want to help you just because of who your family is. They're not going to want to do that because they don't want to see you have anything, you know. But she wanted me to talk to my dad. She wanted me to be able to reunite with my mom. All these different things that I had no clue that my mom wanted me to do. But her ex-husband made it flip the script. It, like he wanted to be, you know, that fourth given, allowing me to be able to see my family. But he wanted me to look at my mom in a, in a bad way saying this is her fault this is you know she didn't want this for you but when it was the other way around because he was profiting off of it so it, it's just like now being able to have that joy within my heart to be able to stand in front of that man and say you do not move anything here for me you know i don't i don't have any kind of anger towards you but i feel more sorry for you than anything you know, not seeking justice because I feel like whatever is going to be for you is going to be for you. I don't wish anything upon you. And it took me a long time to be able to purchase my mouth up and say that. You know, going through things like that had me thinking about some very dangerous things I could put somebody in. Because he, he know, you know, I, I watch a lot of horror movies that my imagination can get really dark. <laughs> so it's just like, and that kind of made his skin crawl. And I said, yeah, because I'm honestly telling you, I, I'm not like you. I'll let you know I have a purpose and if I have a purpose I'm gonna project it towards you but you know that was the devil speaking inside of me that was my darkness taking control being able to tell people you know you, you got dark demented thoughts like that of what you can do to a person you know I'll allow him to be able to know that but you know I had to tell him you don't pump fear in my heart you know I'll put my hands on no old folks but you, you'll be that one I do that too you know and it was just like I had to be able to let that rest you know, God always is like, no, you, you work on healing with you. Don't worry about those folks. Yes, they, we understand this is the reason why you had to go through that. But you allow, let me and, you know, universe and karma allow us to handle that and you handle your healing. That's why I always tell people, you know, yes, I can be honest and say that. But, you know, I no longer feel that way about them. You know, where I can look them in their face and say, you know what, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, a lot of things had to happen that way. You know, I wish it didn't, but, you know, things happen a certain way for a reason. But I had to allow them to say that you don't have that power over me to where you can make me mad or make me want to come out of character. I've allowed myself to do that, but I'm not going to allow you to be able to do that no more because they got off on that. 
You know, it's just like when you go through things, you can't spend your life being angry and mad at people. Yeah, they might have done some really damaging stuff for you, but you got to still think about it. It's going to come a time when God, whatever people put on you, that God going to allow them to be able to feel everything that they placed on somebody else. You know, what, what you put out to the universe always come back to you. It may not come back when you want it to, but it's going to happen. I be like Medea sometimes, shoot, I be wanting to handle stuff like right now. <laughs> but God be taking too long, but I can't be that way. I have to be able to. Right now, my importance and my focus viewpoint is on healing, allowing other people to be able to follow. You know, um, being able to be that example to help people know, even though things have been placed on your life where people have really messed you up mentally, emotionally, sexually, or whatever, don't try to get back at them because that allows you to be no better than the people that did that to you. And I couldn't allow that to happen to me no more. You know, my, my heart don't live in that no more. It's like my heart is where it's healing. You know, it's trying to ascend to where I need to be being able to be that better person, be that voice of reason towards myself as well as others. You know, a lot of us go around, but well, this person did this, this person did that. Yeah, a lot of people did a lot of things, but you can't control about what other people do, but you can control how you tend to go about it or you respond to it or how you look at it. Those are the things you're responsible of. If you don't allow anybody to be coming back in your life to do that, you know, that, that allows them to know you got your power back. So believe and know that the things that happen in your life has a reason for happening the way it did. But your journey is to be able to heal from the things that's been placed on you that was sent to break you. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I want to give much love to uh, Jeriant. Much love to you. I hope that everything's getting better for you or whatever was going on. And many blessings and I uplift for you as well. And Christina, much love to you too. I'm glad I can be able to hear from you. So I hope that everybody has a blessed day. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. It will be truly a blessing to me. Share. Give me a thumbs up. And hit that bell and subscribe if you haven't did it yet. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And know there was always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you in my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your kind words can really help somebody along the way. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace.